All right, I had such a good response with the uh, chicken noodle soup. I think I like to make some bean soup. I tried to get maybe some hamburger soup, but I don't have any hamburgers, so bean soup it is. So what we got to put in the bean soup is garlic, several cloves of garlic. We've got some celery, some carrots, potato, onion, and some black beans and some navy beans chicken broth so what I'm gonna do is uh, soak the beans or, or wash them off I'll wash the beans off in here and then saute the vegetables get them ready a few other spices and then put the beans in and cook that up and make ourselves some bean soup. So let me get started and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, what we've got going here is we're gonna saute the onions, the carrots, celery, uh, five cloves of garlic. Saute those up. And then we've got the uh, navy beans and the black beans. They're soaked, ready to go. And the broth we have right here. we got some broth. There's some potatoes. And we'll get some hearty bean soup going here. Okay, as you can see, the sautéing is just about done. And then we can put in the broth, the beans, the potatoes, and bring it up to a boil. Nice rolling boil. Cook that for 7-8 minutes. And our soup should be done. Alright, let's add the broth. And then when we get the broth in there, we'll turn it up. And really get it going. Ooh, that's some good bean soup. Okay, one box of broth. Okay, let's turn it up. Get her up to a nice boil, and then we'll put the beans and the potatoes in. And some other spices, of course. Okay, everything is in. And it's just going to boil now for a few minutes. And we should have some nice beans. Sometimes I grind up <clears throat> with one of those handheld grinders or um, puree, uh, but I don't have one. Not here in the van, I had one in the house, but in this house I don't. So it's going to have to be big chunks. I like to make it nice and soupy. But I don't have a blender, I don't have any way to, um, unless I kind of squash it a bit or something. And I guess I could do that with a, my needle, is uh, squash it up a bit. Anyway, we'll cook it for a few minutes and then we'll come back. Well guys, I think she's just about done. You've all heard that saying of the beans, uh, beans, beans, musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you flatulate.
Gotta sample this out, sample some of the beans. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Still gonna squash some of it up. Make it a little thicker. No, I was doing that with this. That'll make it nice and thick. Too bad I didn't have a puree kind of a grinder, hand grinder thing. Do that right in the bowl here, hot. And I don't have a, uh, a blender, so I can't do it in there. But in, a, in a blender, I don't have one. I still like a little bit lumpy consistency. I don't like it just all mush. Oh yeah, it's just about soup time. I think what I'll do is dish a little bit out and try it. And see what that's like. All right. little bit of a taste test. I don't know, there's not much light in here to give it any justice, but I'll try a little bit of carrot, potato, and what have you. By golly, that's good. Well, everybody's invited over. We can have some bean soup tonight. Get a little bit windy, but ah, what the heck? That's what bean soup's all about. Okay. Let's dish some up for supper.